You know, these days, there's a ton of information on what it takes to get a local business, a local contract or home service business provider, their Google business profile to the top of Google's three pack of the search results. And a lot of people are confused. They think there's some kind of hack, there's some kind of technique, there's some kind of method that they can use to get that listing pushed into that three pack. What a lot of people don't seem to understand is that it's multiple factors that gets a business showing in that three pack of Google. One of those is correctly filling out the Google business profile, specifically the service section of the Google business profile. So I wanna share with you guys something you guys can do in about 10 to 15 minutes, fill out that Google business profile services section correctly with ChatGPT and some simple prompts that'll help boost your business profile into that three pack of listing and generate you some more leads for your business. What's up there guys, this is here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping contractors, home services, and local businesses understand the internet, specifically Google, and now Google Business Profile, and showing them what it takes to get to the top of the Google Business Profiles, that coveted three pack, where a vast majority of your leads are gonna be coming from, from people that don't know who you are and are looking for your service in your local market. In this video, I wanna talk about one of the things that you need in order to get that business profile to the top of Google business listings, that three pack. And one of the things that I'm seeing these days is a ton of information, a lot of stuff, a lot of people think that there's like some hacks or some techniques or some specific methods that you can do to manipulate the system and push your listing to the top of the Google business profile. It reminds me a lot of, uh, the mid nineties, when there was a lot of fitness information, a lot of infomercials about losing weight and getting in shape, there'd be programs where you only work out three times a week, 15 minutes a day. And you're going to look like a freaking God with a great physique. Use a simple ab tool three times a week. And you're going to get rock hard six pack abs. It reminds me a lot of that these days with the Google business profile. Now I see advertisements all over Facebook. When I'm scrolling, I see one ad after another on what it takes to get your business profile to the top of the Google business profiles, all that stuff. And I just, and I can see why so many contractors and home service business owners could be confused and overwhelmed with all this information. But what I like to tell people, the contractors, it's multiple factors to get your business profile to the top. I always refer back to fitness. A fit, per, somebody wants to get in peak physical condition needs multiple things. They need to lift weights. They need to do cardio. They need to stretch. They need great nutrition. They need proper nutrition. They need good sleep. All that stuff combines into a really fit person. Somebody just doing cardio all day long is not going to be peak physical condition. They need all factors. And the same thing is with the Google business profile. And what I tell contractors too, and home service business owners is ultimately what Google's looking for is the three best service businesses in that local market to be placed at the top of the search results. So it is your job as the business owner to prove to Google that you're one of those three best businesses in that area. So one of the things you need to do is fill out the Google business profile 100%. It's the best of your ability. Fill out every category, fill out every service section, add photos, respond to reviews, post in the Google business profile, all kinds of things. Google wants to know that you're using their platform correctly. So one of those things is filling out the service section of your Google business profile. So let me show you what I'm talking about here with a brand new listing that I have access to now. It's for a asphalt paving contractor. He has multiple offices, multiple locations, and he just got this one verified in a different city. So we're gonna go ahead and go and optimize this thing 100%. So one of the first things that I see a lot of contractors and home services do, the mistake that they make is that they don't, they don't select the right category or enough categories for the services that they provide. So if you go under here in the edit profile, you're going to see your business category. Now for asphalt paving, because I've done so many of these, I already know which ones are the ones most important. It's always asphalt contractor, paving contractor, road construction company. Now for your industry, it could be completely different. All you have to do is go out and go online and go to other locations that provide the same service and check a look at all their categories. You can see all the categories people select and pick the right categories, even the ones that make logical sense to you and pick those correct categories. So then what Google's going to do is when you go back to your edit services, right? Now you're gonna click on the edit services. Now you're gonna have multiple categories. Some of you guys are gonna have you know, one category. Some of you guys are gonna have five categories. When it comes to paving contractors, what I've seen 
works best is just these three main categories. Nothing more than that seems to be needed. So what happens is I see a lot of contractors only have one category selected, and then they don't have any services under the category that they selected. So that you have to add your services to the category that you have selected. So in this case, we added all the services that this guy does. And what Google does too, is it'll give you, give you options. Sometimes it'll give you options. You can select them or you can just put them in manually, just like this right here, like I did for this one. So here are all the services under the asphalt contractor category. Here are all the services under the paving contractor services. You can see some of them are the exact same thing. Doesn't matter. Just do it. And then you're going to see another category and then the services under this category, right? So this is one of the things a lot of contractors home services don't do. So then once you add all of these services, now it is your job to go in here and fill these out hundred percent, right? So there's asphalt driveway paving. There's no price on the service, right? Cause we just give out quotes and then you got to fill on the description of this service. And back in the days before this chat GPT came around, I had to go do these one by one up to 300 characters, one at a time, tedious, boring, uh, frustrating, but you know what? That's what people paid me for. So that's so why I had to go and do it. But now I'm going to share with you guys the exact prompt that I use to fill these out 100%. And this should only take you about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. So get your coffee ready and get to work filling this out. And this is going to give you a big boost since a lot of your competition isn't even doing this basic stuff. So let me show you guys the prompt and how I do this. So here's the prompt that I use. It came up, I came up with it over time. I need help creating descriptions for the specific services I display on my Google business profile. I provide and then add the service and then your location. The first category will be for the service of, and then I put in the service, write me a professional but friendly service description for this category, write it at an eighth grade reading level and make it between 250 and 300 characters. That's the prompt that I use. It's pretty simple. So let me show you guys an example of this right here. So I've already made an example of it. Let's go ahead and go on to ChatGBT and do this. So this first one is asphalt driveway paving. So I just go in here and here's the prompt. I put it in there, asphalt driveway paving. And the first category is asphalt driveway paving right here. And then there it is. So there's my description. I pop it into the Google business profile listing here. Looks good. I go through it quickly and read it real quick. I hit save and then I move on to the next one. So asphalt driveway repair. So I'll go ahead and do this again. And instead of uh, driveway paving services, I put it asphalt driveway repairs. And then I can't spell. Thank God for all this uh, chat GBT stuff and spell check because I'd be screwed. So now I have one for repairs. There it is. It tells you how many characters there is. You go through it, read it really quickly, pop it in your description. And there you go, that one's done. You hit save. And usually what I do is I, I don't put in the prompt again. I just go into and take a look at the next service like uh, overlays, right? I'll say something like, let's do the same with this service. Asphalt driveway overlays, hit enter. There you go. Boom, copy this, pop it in there. And then you're done and you do it for every single one, fill it out completely, hit save, and then you're good to go. So there you have it. That's just one thing that I believe anybody can do. As long as you have access to your own Google business profile and you're doing your own thing, just go in there, use ChatGPT, and do all of this stuff for yourself. Like I said, it's one of many factors to get a business profile to the top. Again, go back to the reference of a fitness person, right? You got to lift weights. You got to do cardio, you got to stretch, you got to sleep, you got to eat right. All that stuff combined makes a fit person. The Google business profile, in my opinion, is no different. You fill out that thing 100% to the best of your ability. And of course, you're going to need a website connected to it that's feeding that same information you just put into that Google business profile. It's a great idea to make individual pages for some of those services, or a lot of those services that you're offering on the Google business profile. Start building out pages specific for that. And then, of course, you're going to need your reviews. You need to put your photos on there. You're going to need backlinks, locally relevant backlinks pointing to your site backlinks from websites related to your industry. People got to know your brand out there. Ultimately, like I said before, 
all Google's trying to do is look for the three best businesses for a specific service in a specific location. And it's not doing them to help the business. It's doing it to help its own brand, Google. So you have to think about that. Google doesn't want to ruin its reputation by putting some shitty business there at the top of the search results. So Google knows you're going to be filling this thing out correctly. You spent money on a good website, spent money on good backlinks. You're actively promoting your business in the, in the local community, things like that. People are leaving you some awesome reviews. That's what gets your business profile to the top of the Google business profile. So if you guys need help with any of this stuff, you guys want to do some of this stuff for yourself. I created a full training that you can get access to just like that prompt to fill out your Google business profile correctly. And there's other things like adding products for your Google business profile, posting regularly on your Google business profile, how to structure your website that connects to your Google business profile, where to get these backlinks, how to search for them, all that stuff. Everything that I do for the customers that I help, the clients that I help push them into the map listing at the top, it's all provided in that in that little group that you can get access to and also i also provide the service as well for some people that just don't have the time for it you can book a call with me in that same group where you could i could take a look at your business see what you need see what it would take to get your google business profile to the top in your local market there and like i mentioned before one of those things one of the big things for that is the the actual website that you connect to that listing you could check out a video where i talk about that extensively how important that is you could check out that video right here and other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.